Hello, welcome guys. In this uh, tutorial, we are going to check Listbox control. That's from the toolbox. Let's search it. Listbox control. Let's move over our form one. Uh, let me resize it. Something like this. Yeah. And now we'll add a simple button. And also, let's just make this size. Let's change the names. List. Let's I put values. And then from the simple button, did you add numbers? Add numbers. Let's select the image for our button. Here I will write number. This image I selected. It's very nice. So uh, when we double click our add numbers, we'll adding some numbers into our list box control. Let's double click it and then put the for loop and from zero to one hundred. And then I will write my list box name. That's LST values items add. Sorry. Hey. Now let's run it how it was functioning. You see it added like that from zero to ninety-nine. So what we are going to do here that uh, we want to add uh, from zero until the maximum value of long. Let's change this one. I will write long max value. It's almost endless loop. So the moment I click this one, it will freeze because uh, since the program doesn't work uh, asynchronously, so it will not. It will be freezing. Now we can see it. As you see. It's not functioning. It don't. It doesn't respond to me. Let me first stop this one. And yeah. In order to prevent that, we have a one uh, method. It's called uh, do events. So I will add here. I will write application do events. Usually, if for example, if we use like a multi-threading or parallel programming, uh, we have to make it to a task, and we have to make like asynchronously. But uh, here, you don't need it. You just add this one. Now let's try it. How it's going to work? You see, the program is functioning. I can move my form, and it is adding. You see. If you want to see the latest value on our form, we, we can write the latest value on on form one, or maybe count how much it has. I write text equal um, lst values dot items count. And let's convert to string because it is integer. Now let's try it. So we let me you see added like a thousand eight hundred two thousand numbers. It's just no, well, it's pretty much cool. Now, uh, what we are going to do, we'll add some text boxes and buttons. We'll add uh, some values in our uh, list box control, and we'll be removing, we'll be searching, we'll be updating. Let's do all of them. Text edit. Another text. 
edit yeah and let's write simple button one this is all let's just add one I think it's enough we don't need to add more Text. Uh, let's say name. Here I will change the name. BTN. Add name. Add name. You say delete name. Delete name. And also we need one more, it is for updating. You can update me. And update me. Let's first set some image here. And uh, this time maybe we'll choose mm, let's see. Add name for delete. It's just this one, I think. Delete name and then update. Put this one here, it's better. Update the name. Let's resize these things. Now let's first double click our add uh, name button. We'll say LST values items dot add and then our text box. Takes the name text. Let's write. As you see that the name is added. Now it's for deleting. Let's double click delete name. LST values items. Here we choose remove and then our text box. And let's go for update. We double click it. Here's go LST items. Here since all items is array, we have to we have to write the index of our array and it starts from zero. Here, I would like to update whenever I choose any item here and I will get it index, uh, index number, then we can update it. I will write LST values dot selected index. So equal takes the name text. Now it should be updating as well. Now let's try it. Let's write a few names. Let's check David Jihan. Now, for example, if I want to delete David, sorry, I did something wrong, I think. Want to check delete? Ah, sorry, what I'm doing. Ah, uh, not again. And after we edit, we want to clean our uh, text box control, and we also want our cursor to be focused here. Let's do this one. From add, I write text the name equal to empty. And then takes the name focused. Now let's try. Right. As you see that, the moment I click add button, add name button, it add David, and also it will clear, and then it will focus in our uh, text box. See? And then. Check. 
you want to delete, we have to write here, let's check. Check is deleted. And let's change the name of Ahmed. Whenever I select it, I will come to text box, I will say, let's change it into Murat. Update, as you see that it's updated. And, and also, we want to do something like this. Whenever we choose any items here, we want our item to be appear inside our text box. In order to do that, we have to go to event of list box control. Let's go there and see what we can do. From properties, events. Here we have even it called selected index change. Let's double click it. Now we we'll say takes the name text equal LSD values selected item to a string because this one is object we convert into a string. Let's try like this. Let's just again some names. Mm. Check. I think we add an empty one. Let's delete. Oh, sorry. Excellent. Yeah, that's okay. Now, uh, as you see that, for example, if I write Ahmed, I, I click the Ahmed and it appears David, Jack, Jihan. And this is known. Let's write a value here. Let's say. What? Oh, it doesn't function because it's empty. That's okay. That's it, guys.